Right, now we're going to be dealing with the practical module activity that comes at the end of module 4.4. And we are dealing with the spreadsheet general knowledge. First thing they wanted us to do is to calculate the percentage in column I. And there we can see percentage. Um, if the learner competed in two rounds, the marks must be added. And the total out of 60 must be recalculated to a mark out of 100. So here's my first mark, and let me just zoom in here. So there's my first mark, there's my second mark. So what I now need to do is I need to add these two numbers, because this is going to represent the total out of 60. So let's just go equals sum, open my bracket, add those two, and there I get my answer. But now, what do I want to do? I want to change that to a percentage. So I'm going to divide by whatever it's out of, which is going to be 60. And then from there, I can simply go up here to the top and click percentage. Okay, so that was fine for those that had two marks. If a learner, however, just took part in one round, the mark out of 30 must be calculated to a mark out of 100. So yeah, I've got one. I'm going to follow the same procedure, but just slightly differently. So whatever's in that cell divided by the total, which this time is 30. And just make sure it's formatted as a percentage. And there you go, 40%. They're also saying they want the percentages displayed with two decimal points. And there you can see I can just go up to my um, increase and decrease decimal over here and make sure that I've got my two decimal places. Now they want me to protect this particular um, worksheet. And how am I going to do that? Remember, I just right click on that worksheet and I say protect worksheet. And they don't give me any further info. So I'm just going to click OK on that. And there that's protect. Then back to the general knowledge worksheet. The last thing that they really want me to do there is to make sure that rows one and two will print at the top of each page. So row one and row two will print at the top of each page. So I'm going to go to my page layout tab and I'm going to go to print titles and I'm going to go to rows to repeat at the top. Now what did they say to me? Um, let me just get the wording they wanted me to. Make sure that rows one and two will print at the top of each page. So rows to repeat that one, basically those two. Okay, happy with that. And there we go. I can do the same with columns if I need to, um, but this is just me specifying that print area. So when I do go file print, and I go to each page, you can see what that does. Okay, let's just go and modify this a little bit. And there we go. So you can see that at the top of each page, those rows are going to be kept in place.